there's nothing really more important than people in a business. I don't care how good their inventory is or what they do or how well they do their jobs. If they're not friendly, you don't really want to go back there. And that's the thing about the violin shop. I look forward to going there just like, like I would look forward to going and visit an old friend somewhere. The luthier is the difference between a cheap made instrument and a handmade, properly made instrument where everything works together to create a great sound. You know, this whole thing started because the banjo is too heavy. Um, I was getting into cross-country bicycling, and I did a trip from Washington State to Maine and decided I was going to take my banjo on the bike. And how crazy is that? You know, so before the trip, I worked the banjo. I took the resonator off the back. I took a bunch of the hardware off. I drilled holes all the way around the rim trying to get the weight out of it. I cut two inches off the headstock and relocated the tuning pegs. So I turned a little Deering banjo that weighed close to eight pounds into a 4.2 pound banjo in the case. And I put it on the bike and I hauled it across the country. Well, believe me, when you're going up 30 mile long mountain passes, you feel that four and a half pounds. And the wind would catch the front of it and move the bike around and out on the plains when I got across into North Dakota. And I thought, jokingly, when I got home, my son was like, tell me all about your trip. Was it great? And all this. And the banjo you took. And are you crazy? And I'm like, yeah. I said, that was tough. I said, I need to learn a new instrument, a really lightweight one. That's all I said to him. Christmas morning, I'm opening my presents. Brand new violin from him. He's the greatest gift giver in our whole family. Always gets the right gift for everybody. So I still have the instrument, and you know what? It still sounds pretty darn good. So that's how it started for me.